All right, so today I'm putting a full scar audio build in my car, and we're going to keep this quick. I'm going to preview everything, install it, then give you a quick review of it. I got uh, Scar TX speakers, I got the uh, Korean line of amps, and I got two SVRs on the way. First up, the TX speaker system. I got a pair of coaxes for the back door, component speakers for the front. It's a quick unboxing. Yeah, it's a pretty nice speaker. Seems pretty well built. Almost reminds me of kicker speakers, the KS series. Nice little fiber cone. And then, of course, the Coaxo is the same thing. Um, this is a component set that so comes with these big one inch tweeters. The catch is the housing for it is two inches wide. Really got to cut a hole in my car to do this. And I think this time I'm going to take the plunge. I also have this huge ass crossover. Like, this is obnoxiously big, somewhat outdated design. Here for the tweeter, we have these markdowns, 0 dB, negative 3, negative 6. Um, what's great about that is um, if your tweeters are too bright or they're like in your ear or your cell panel, instead you just uh, connect the positive tweeter to a negative uh, dB level. You can start toning it down. But this entire set, a uh, component set, Black Friday sale, 90 bucks. Yeah, hell is frozen over. I got a full component set that looks like it was actually built correctly for 90 bucks. The world is changing, man. By the way, I forgot to mention, these are silk tweeters. Yes, $99 component set with a silk tweeter. Now for the amps. These are Korean amps. I've never had a Korean amp. I got a micro amp for my, uh, a mini amp for my door speakers. And I got a 1500 watt amp for the uh, SVR subs. Okay, we're gonna start out with the mini amp. A box within a box. So skylight. It's nice, nice little finish to it. One side, you got your RCA input. Your gain adjustment, your knobs and everything. On the other side, is a little bit different. So you got your power and ground remote, but your speaker output actually come from this clip. So you gotta put this clip in and then connect to your speakers. They also have high level inputs on this. And if you plug them in here and here, there you go. You won't even need RCAs. This is pretty cool. I think I paid 135 for this. That's pretty great, man. <laughs> now for the powerhouse skv2 1500.1 d was a korean app which means from what i've been told they work better they're more efficient and they can handle a little bit more abuse so inside we get a nice cable and a nice little prepackaged base remote so not only is it super compact but it's metal doesn't use a um, three millimeter jack it uses a telephone style which is great and it has a clipping light that's nice Nice little touch. I really like Scar's logo, man. That shit's so cool. That's some good marketing right there. But yeah, nice size. It's heavy. Like, this shit is heavy. Like, when you mount this, <laughs> you need to mount it. It's heavy. Durable. I like it. So on one side, got your power and ground that could take zero gauge. Got your remote and your speaker connections all together. As expected, you got your RCAs. You both have an input and an output, so you could go to another um, amp. They have this input slave mode if you ever want to strap two of these together. That means if I bought two of these, I could hook this up to one system and run all together. Remote connection, of course, gain, subsonic, phase boost, which you're never supposed to use anyway. Low pass filter and phase, which I don't touch, but that's a nice, you know, nice little touch that they added this on here. Now for the subs, I got two SVR, D four twelves, supposed to be eight hundred RMS each. Sure slam. Let's get them open. Nice basket, kind of similar to like a kicker comp series. Well, honestly, the Sundown uh, EV series. Nice magnet, the cone. I like the surround because it's not that big fat ass one they put on the EVL to make it look bigger than it is. Nice spring terminals. Yeah, looks pretty good. Yeah, this bitch got some heft to it though. First things first, gotta take out the old system. Get rid of these Sundown audio amps. I know, I know. You getting rid of Sundown for Scar? Just, just, just give it a second. So I immediately don't like this new harness thing. There's no rhyme or, reason, rhyme or reason to what the colors are, except for like this diagram that's on there in the user manual. But it's like, if you have an error, man, you gotta really think like, shit, which speaker went out, what color? Here we go, all wired up. Gonna set some games and start listening to some music. And 
So my first impression is um, the tweet is almost relatively non-existent, even at zero dB, which my case is actually kind of good. I, um, like I said, I really don't, I really don't like that shit. Got the speakers hooked up. Had to mangle the shit out of this to get the tweet in. Word of advice: always mangle from behind the seal. But it sounded pretty good. Let me turn it up. A new sub without custom building a box by itself. Look at that, damn near perfect. Three and a half cubic feet, tuned to 34 hertz with 44 square inches of port. Ooh, wow. Okay, so it's kind of hard to really give a review through YouTube because um, you guys can't really hit a sound quality. So I guess the best way to describe it is I say Scar Audio has a fan out of me. Out of all, you, if you follow my page, you know I've had like four different brands in this car. Scar gets the job done beautifully at a great price. I um, the mids and highs is great. They um, it's like mids and bass with some tweaks. I love that. The bass is crazy. The bass plays every fucking note. And it also hits the lows. Now, it might not be as crazy as, you know, sundown audio, but, you know, two of these 12s cost less than that one sundown audio 12 I had. And they don't require as much as power. Uh, the amps that I'm using, these sound beautiful, man. I'm coming from Full Bridge. It's a noticeable difference. Uh, yeah, it's a noticeable difference. So, uh, if you're on the fence about Scar Audio, I say buy the shit. It's really good. Um, just based off the brands I've got now, Kicker and Rock Profoske, they, they serve their purpose, but they're overpriced. And Sundown Audio is really overkill for what you need, usually, and the amount of work and effort it gets to make it work. So it's worth the money. To me, Scar Audio is the best choice. So, yeah, stay tuned. I might do some more stuff, but I know this. If I install anything in anyone else's car, I'm telling them to go straight to Scar Audio.